Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neelab Agrawal and I am going to teach you amoebic liver abscess. First of all, etiology. An amoebic liver abscess is caused by N. amoeba histolytica. The other form, that is N. amoeba dispar, is the non-pathogenic form. Histolytica is formed of two words, histo plus lysis, that implies tissue destro destroying or degenerating. Now pathophysiology. This organism enters our body through fecal oral route, which is the most common form, and it enters intestine, then colon, and finally via portal vein to liver. The fecal oral route is the most common form of entry through which quadrinucleate cyst enters our body. In the intestines, the trophozoites are released. In colon, there are several important points. First of all, the flash shaped ulcers are formed which are the most common in ascending colon and cecum. 25% patients with colitis present with diarrhea. The mechanism of action in liver is basically enzymatic cellular hydrolysis by which necrosis takes place in liver tissues which leads to liquefaction of liver tissues. This pus does not invade the glycens capsule because it is hyd hydrolysis resistant. This liquefaction forms ankavi sauce pus. This name is derived from a sauce that is derived from a fish called as ankavi that looks like this. The real pus looks like this. Now, it is odorless unless this, there is a secondary infection. Finally, it may take the form of a chronic abscess which may form the fibrous capsule and may calcify. Next we come to the clinical features. It may present in two forms that is acute or chronic. Acute is generally said to be less than 10 days and chronic to be more than 2 weeks. In acute there is a high grade fever whereas the slow onset where uh, as there is a slow onset of fever in chronic form. In acute form 50% patient present with multiple lesion and in chronic form 80% patient with a single right lobe lesion. Now generally these patients are middle aged men that range from 20 to 40 years with a predisposing condition like alcoholic or immunosuppressed individuals. These also have a history of travel to endemic areas. The male is to female ratio is generally 10 is to 1. The most common symptom is abdominal pain that is in right upper quadrant which is dull and constant type. 25% patient present with diarrhea, some present with anorexia and weight loss, very rarely it present with jaundice. Now different diagnosis. It may be diagnosed by USG or CT. We will show you the films. This is the USG and this is the CT film. On USG, it is characterized by round lesion abutting the liver surface and the contents are hypoechoic. This is the margin in the uh, USG and in CT this is the margin. In CT, CT has a high sensitivity and on CT non-enhancing rim is seen whereas the rim is enhancing in the pyogenic abscess. Now, next it can be diagnosed on laboratory investigation. Most common is by increased PTINR. This is the most common finding. Next finding can be increased ALP, alkaline phosphatase, increased WBC and anemia. It can also be diagnosed by ELISA by detecting the anti-amoebic antibodies. On microscopy, it can be done uh, demonstrated by stool or aspirate. Culture is usually sterile. The resolution of abscess on radiological investigation generally takes about 3 to 9 months. Now, the differential diagnosis can be viral hepatitis, echinococcal disease, cholangitis, or cholecystitis. Treatment part First of all, the medical treatment. The drug of choice for this is metronidazole 750mg TDS for 10 to 14 days. Usually the symptoms resolve in 3 to 5 days. The next for invasive amoebiasis, there can be uh, emetine and chloroquine is generally used. And this, there are some luminal agents for which the mnemonic is DIP that stands for diloxinide, iodoquinolone and paromomycin but these don't have any systemic activity. Now the surgical, the follow-up is done with USG. Surgical intervention is needed only in certain uh, indications like 
when the diagnosis is uncertain when there is a failure of medical treatment for 3 to 5 days if there is a high risk abscess that is the size is more than 5 cm or if there is a left low involvement when there is a pyogenic super infection or if the female is pregnant because we cannot give metronidazole now complications can include the rupture of abscess into the three cavities that are peritoneum pleural cavity and the pericardial cavity the most common is in peritoneal cavity the symptoms that we see in all these is in first we see peritonitis in second we see compression compress compression of lungs and third pericardial effusion and pericardial tamponade for management in first we do exploratory laparotomy or percutaneous drainage in second we do icd or thoracotomy and in third we do needle pericardiosynthesis or pericardiotomy thank you so much please like subscribe and share my video